Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is episode 121 of our 365 day daily devotionals. This daily devotional is called Jesus Calling. It is by Sarah Young and it is absolutely fantastic. It literally is, y'all. This is something that I just wanted to do for myself and I decided that I would do it with my community and it has turned into something that is so seriously special to me. Um, it's given me an accountability that I didn't have before and it just, it's, it's priceless. It really is. Um, if you've been with me throughout this devotional, I cannot thank you enough. If you've missed any of the previous episodes and you would like to check those out, there is a playlist in the description box. And I guess that's it. So let's jump right in. Okay, number 121. When some basic need is lacking, time, energy, money, consider yourself blessed. Your very lack is an opportunity to latch onto me in unashamed dependence. When you begin a day with inadequate resources, you must concentrate your efforts on the present moment. This is where you are meant to live, in the present. It is the place where I always await you. Awareness of your inadequacy is a rich blessing, training you to rely wholeheartedly on me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Let's keep going. The truth is that self-sufficiency is a myth perpetuated by pride and temporary success. Health and wealth can disappear instantly, as can life itself. Rejoice in your insufficiency, knowing that my power is made perfect in weakness. Okay, so change of plans. We're actually in the car. I'm going to have to finish the devotional in here. I hope that you guys can hear me okay. Um, it was just a little change of plans. But anyway, so I'm out in the car and we are going to finish the devotional. But where I left off was um, the second, the second part of that devotional. And I just want to read that one more time and then we'll go on into the verses. The truth is that self-sufficiency is a myth perpetuated by pride and temporary success. Health and wealth can disappear instantly, as can life itself. Rejoice in your insufficiency, knowing that my power is made perfect in weakness. Mm. These, this devotional just absolutely never ceases to amaze me. It's just so, so good. And I love the fact that it really gets me to thinking and gets me to wondering about different parts of my relationship with God and, you know, where I stand and knowing, finally figuring out. It took me a very long time to figure out that it's not about what I can do or what I can handle or, or what I, you know, it's not about me and my abilities. It has nothing to do with me. It's all about letting God work through you and letting the Lord guide your path. And that doesn't mean that you, you're perfect or like that you live perfectly or, you know, something like I'm a sinner forever saved by grace until I make it to heaven. I, you know, things are going to happen. That's just, that's just life. That's the way it is. But God loves me anyway, and I know that, and I know that it's all about him, and it has absolutely nothing to do with me. Mm, it'll change your life to, to really understand that. You know, it's about seeing your life through God's perspective, and seeing where he is working in your life and where he is doing behind the scenes and you know whatever and really paying attention to that and acknowledging him thanking god for what he's doing in your life even when you're at your worst and that's the hardest thing to do 
hardest thing to do. I pr oh, I promise you. Mm. But it's so worth it. Man, this is so good. And this first verse, man, this is such a good verse. Listen to this first verse. <clears throat> Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. James 1, 2, and 3. The testing of your faith develops perseverance. All these little things that you could be trusting God with. So that when something really happens. You know right where to go. There's just nothing like God's love and the God's grace and mercy that he has on us, that he truly has for us. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weakness, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Don't let pride get in the way. Of your relationship with God. Don't let pride and and self-sufficiency get in your way of of your relationship with the Lord. Really, it's not about you. And in our weaknesses, that is when the power of the Lord is literally at its most. Mm. Man, this was such a good one today. Not enough people talk about their weaknesses and their trials and tribulations and more people need to know that everybody goes through stuff. Life is life. And we live in a fallen world. Bad things happen to good people. But we got to just keep trusting God. It's not about what happens on this side of heaven. I promise you that. It's all about the promises that the Lord has made to us. And that I believe with all my heart will one day come true. I, I do. It's, it's one thing to just say, oh, I believe in Jesus. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. Do you trust everything with God? Have you let go of yourself and just let God? Don't just get it as a bumper sticker. Get it as a bumper sticker on your heart inside yourself where all the sadness and the weakness and the fear and the anxiety and the depression and all those ugly things that mirror up our minds let God be right there I promise you his power is much bigger than what is happening I promise you that I have lived this Mm, 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 mm. Man, this was so good. Let me give you all the verses because I always forget. But I want y'all to have these today. This was such a good one, guys. Oh, my goodness. Such a good one. <clears throat> Man. 
The next time something's going on in your life and you feel like you're lacking in some area. Oh, sorry, y'all. I've had a back ache, like a really bad back ache for about three days now. I actually had to go to the um, walk-in clinic and get two shots in my back because I, something happened. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden I, I had pain and it didn't stop. <laughs> Anyways, it's much better though. Much, much better. I've been laying on the heating pad and doing ice and then doing the, um, they gave me a steroid shot and she said that that would probably, that would more than likely definitely help. And it has, it does for sure help. Anyways, but moving around is still a little uncomfortable. Anyways, what I was saying though was the next time that you're lacking in some area of your life, the next time that you feel like you are lacking somewhere, or just like this says, some of the examples that the devotional gave us today were time, energy, money. Consider yourself blessed. Think about it in a different way. If you could just see your life through God's eyes and know what's at the end of all of this. It just makes life much more worth living. And I think that more people need to talk about their weaknesses. Stop being so prideful. Who cares? I have more respect for somebody that can sit down and tell me about themselves and tell me about things they've been through than I do for somebody that acts like they have it all together. Because I don't think there are very few people that truly have it all together. We're all human. Technically, we're brothers and sisters, you know? I mean, we're all God's children. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't mean to make that, like, creepy in any way, but you know what I meant. We should love one another. And just learn to live life through God's eyes. I don't know any other way to explain it to y'all. This was such a good devotional today. This one really got me thinking and just, you know, it was a very good one. I like it when we've done a devotional and then I catch myself like a couple hours afterwards thinking about it again. So this will be one of those ones that I'll, you know, go over in my head a couple times. That's good. That's a good thing. All right. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for being with me today and y'all have a blessed day.